Hey y'all, it's December the 15th, 2017, and y'all wanted to make a video, hopefully it's a quick one, regarding some viral internet videos that were actually viral about a month ago, maybe a little bit over a month ago, it's kind of old news, but uh, this particular uh, video is in reference to the Tyrese videos that came out in regards to his uh, legal struggles with his ex-wife, uh, child custody issues, and, and so forth. A lot of people know about it. If you don't know about it, I suggest that you look into it. Um, you might find it either entertaining or educational or both, all right? A lot of people, I'm thing is, it went super viral. I mean, what more could you want from me? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, everybody, everybody in the streets knows what that is. Congratulations. <laughs> it is funny and it is entertaining. Um, and at the same time, it is educational. A lot of people could see those videos and get a lot of different perspectives on them, I'm sure. I mean, one person could see these videos and, and think, damn, you know, these people are out and they're kind of bullying Tyrese. Of course, he made this video and it was very emotional. It got very irrational. All right, but there's people out here and they're making fun of it and they're bullying this person. Meanwhile, Tyrese is in a very tough situation, all right? And that's messed up that people would call him out like this and laugh at him like this. You could watch the videos and get that perspective. I completely understand that. You could also watch the videos and think to yourself, man, Tyrese is making a damn fool out of himself on the internet. Bad, real bad. And it's funny. It's, it's super hilarious. All sort of viral memes have been made out of it. It's crazy. You could think that by looking at the videos. And I could completely understand both lines of, of perspective. True, truly. And there's all sort of uh, people in the spectrum who think all sort of things about these... I, don't, I, I hesitate to say crazy videos, but entertaining videos to say the least. All right. So in regards... To the whole situation a lot of people are already very familiar with the situation in regards to these videos i do want to holler at uh young men out there all right people young men who just become fathers or you know what i'm saying maybe are going to be fathers in the near future i want to holler at y'all about something real quick what you're seeing and regardless of how you feel about it of course, I feel kind of bad for Tyrese in certain ways. At the same time, he should have known better. But the thing is, what I got to tell y'all, uh, which is most important, is that what Tyrese did was absolutely, completely wrong. All right? Over the top 100%. Absolutely not in his own best interest or in anybody's best interest. All right? And I'm going to explain why that is and how that came to be. All right? But I got to explain to y'all. Uh, that, of course, a lot of people understand that when it comes to the family structure in America and uh, abroad, I'm sure, uh, when it comes to family structure, it's been kind of deviating in lots of ways, all right? I mean, you know, there's uh, all sort of fatherless homes. There's all sort of motherless homes. There's all sort of, you know what I'm saying? The ideal situation, and a lot of people would disagree, but I don't have time really to to delve too far into the fact that it's the ideal situation for a child, be it a, a little boy or a little girl, is to have their biological mother and their biological father be married and then make babies and they'll be the baby. And that's the ideal situation. Now, there's many a different variants that are going on in this country right now. All right. God bless all the families out there, all the single mothers, all the single fathers, all the single this and that, all the mixed up families. There's mixed families. God bless all of them. Nobody's out here to try to attack them and saying that the ideal is that a man and a lady get married and then they have babies after that. All right. That is ideal. All right. But we're living in a uh, we're, we're living in an age where that's obviously not the case. Is the percentage of people doing something very different from that is rising. All right. And we're all experiencing that. Not only that, a lot of us are experiencing hardships, financial and emotional. 
in all sorts of different ways, mental hardships uh, from these these kind of fractured, if you will, situations, all right? And people don't exactly know how to respond to their own particular situations, and we all have individual situations, because we're all individuals, all right? People don't know how exactly to respond to certain situations. So, in effect, you got the situation that happened with Tyrese. I want to break it down real quick. Uh, a lot of y'all already know Tyrese. I don't know how it's developing. I'm really not keeping an eye on it. But Tyrese had a settlement in court. He had an ex-wife. Um, I believe her name is Norma, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, he had an ex-wife. They were going through custody uh, hearings and procedures. Obviously, what happened is Tyrese can't really see his child no more. I believe it's like his his daughter is something around 10 years old. And, of course, he's going to see his daughter eventually. But she's being kept from him, basically, a lot, right? Which is something that he's not, I guess, used to. She's being kept from him. And not only that, Tyrese is being made to pay something like 13000 a month in child support. The thing, the thing of it is, uh, you'll begin to realize that Tyrese is somewhat surprised by this. It seems. He seems to be somewhat bewildered by this happening. By the procedure of your child getting taken from you and then you pay money. All sort of money. Tyrese had that happen to him. He was not aware that that's not exactly rare. That's not a rare situation. Alright? Or at least it didn't appear that he understood that that actually happens. It's not... <laughs> It's not fantastical. It really does happen a lot. All right. So it happened to Tyrese. All right. And you know how they always say, oh, I never thought it would happen to me. Yeah. If you ever see people on the news and bad things happen to them, they say, oh, I never thought it would happen to me. Yeah. You're definitely eligible for bad things to happen to you. Yeah. This does happen, especially to celebrities. Tyrese. All right, so that's number one where he went wrong is the thing is this situation actually happens and it happens a lot and then it happened to him and he started crying about it on the internet and we're going to discuss that in a second. All right, but the fact is that's where he went wrong at the very beginning. This actually is not rare. He's speaking about it as if this was like something out of the ordinary. All right, but before we go any further, I had to just discuss, like in the case with most people in these situations where you got fractured homes, where you got people and they're they're moving about, they don't know which way is up and down, uh, you're going to have a lot of people angry at other people. And we already know this. When it comes to families that had disbanded and things of this nature, you have a man and a lady most times that don't like each other, hate each other. A lot of the times. There's a lot of emotions involved. There's a lot of anger involved. And that's actually most important to note. The anger. Tyrese has anger in him. This is a problem. All right? You might ask, how do I know this? Because Tyrese, obviously in these videos, was not understanding reality. And that's a fact. I mean, you have to understand that when you're making these videos and post them on the internet... That the reality of the situation is people are going to call you a damn fool. All right? And it's not hard. I mean, I've been out here making videos on YouTube and stuff. It's not hard to look back at a video you made and say, damn, dude, I shouldn't even post this at all. All right? But Tyrese went ahead and posted it. The reason he did that is because his judgment was extremely clouded by anger that he has in his heart. He needs to relieve that. Inevitably, that's a whole different video that we've already made in which you forgive your parents. I don't think Tyrese ever did, but I'm not going to get into that whole can of worms. All I'm saying is Tyrese has anger, and that caused him to do some stuff that most people wouldn't do. Now, I want to discuss what's the reason that you wouldn't do this. Now, a lot of men instinctually would know not to make this video, these kind of videos that Tyrese made, and post them on the internet. A lot of men would instinctually know not to do this. But I want to discuss why you don't do this. In a nuanced kind of level, like, uh, the, the, I want to discuss children. All right, for example, because here's the thing, like like we already know, 
the situation of fractured homes is a very real one. And it's, it's actually the norm. It's becoming the norm in which the child does not have their biological mother and father in the house. It's just not what happens. Very often it does kind of have, like half the time maybe it happens. All right. So we know that's what we're dealing with. All right. I, I want to discuss in the child's benefit why what Tyrese done was wrong. All right. First of all, when it comes to a, a little boy or a little girl, in this case, a little girl, they need certain things. Now, as a, as a parent, you come to start to understand the world in a little different uh, perspective. Uh, chemical things start to happen to you. Cosmic things start to happen to you. As you become a parent, you might grow what some people call as wiser, more mature. Some of us do and some of us don't. But as a parent, I got to tell you right now that Tyrese's child, as, as well as anybody else's child, they need certain things to complete them, to make them fulfilled spiritually, emotionally. Um, it really has nothing to do with money or most most other material items. The children don't need any of these things. Historically speaking, you can tell that they don't in, in order to flourish and, and to become bright and inspiring individuals, points and beacons of light for society to look at. Little children can grow up and blossom to be absolutely uh, uh, just productive individuals in society but to do so they need certain things and when they don't have these things it causes um, emotional obstacles mental obstacles that they have to overcome and that will take time right but ideally we should not be wanting to put obstacles in front of children in order to make them grow. We, we should just put them in, in ideal environments, all right? So I know I'm going off a, a little bit of a tangent, but what I mean to say is this, all right? Tyrese, what he did was wrong because a little girl and a little boy need certain things. Priority uh, uh, list speaking, if you were to go down the list, at the top of the list, a child needs to know uh, that they're secure, all right, that they have some sort of security, that there's some sort of safety uh, that's being administered to them. Now, traditionally speaking, practically speaking, this comes from a father because a father is a big, big guy, all right, and he can handle physical situations, and also he has a blood tie, like there's an absolute cosmic blood bond to that child, the child instinctually knows that this father is going to lay down uh, the life. He's going to lay down the line, if you will. He He's not to be crossed. And a child knows this. And a child feels very secure by this. All right? And they also need their mother because their mother teaches them how to be very, you know, uh, what you call like huggy, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, close to people physically. This is, this is why a mother is very important. But a father is there for security. Traditionally speaking, they need this. Right? Without this, uh, they become very scared. They'll, they become scared in a way that's permanent. Right? And it will give them anxiety and they'll have anxiety issues from not having the security. And you couldn't blame them. person without security person who doesn't have no stability in their life, they're going to become very anxious, all right? You couldn't blame them, but that's what happens. That's number one. A child needs this. They need the security. This is not debatable. This is not my opinion. A child needs security. That's number one. Number two is this, and a lot of people don't talk about this, all right? A lot of people brush this off to the side. A lot of people would say number two is that they need their uh, parent in their life at any cost. Physically, every single day, they need their child, and that's number two. Uh, they would say that uh, number two would be that the, the parent has to physically be there. And what I'm here to discuss today that the, is that that's not actually the case. That isn't number two. It might be number three or number four that the parent has to physically be there. I know that's hard to understand. And especially it is for Tyrese. Because he's feeling the, um, the, the, he's feeling the loss, basically. The, the, the gape that you have when your child's taken from you. He's feeling that. And he, and he doesn't know what to do with that. The withdrawal symptoms. All right. 
uh, Tyrese is feeling that and he doesn't know what to do. He's he's lashing out in anger. He doesn't really understand uh, reality necessarily. He's posting these absurd videos on the internet and that is bad not only for him but also his child. Because like I said, number one, child needs security. All right. Uh, Traditionally speaking, although men cry and everybody everybody who's grown knows that men do cry from time to time, they don't do it out in public. They don't do it like in front of their children. They don't, they don't do it on the internet so that all the children's friends could see it later on and laugh at it. All right, that's not going to add to his daughter's security. And I'm not out here trying to say, oh, he's bad father to his daughter and stuff. I'm just suggesting right now that that behavior is not going to add to his daughter's security. If she ever sees that video, the, the, in her mind, the safety and security that Tyrese provides is going to be compromised because he's blubbering on the internet. And I'm not trying to be a bully to him out here, but this is definitely what's going to take place. Right? Even if the daughter is impressed by Tyrese and Tyrese showing his emotion, even if later on in life she looks back at it and says, Oh, you, my, my daddy, oh, he, sure, he sure did cry on the internet. Still in her mind, she's going to know that that's not a, a point of strength in which a father should represent. You know what I'm saying? And she is going to feel a lack of security because of this behavior but uh, i do also want to touch on number two number two isn't that the the parent physically needs to be there that actually is very important but number two is that a child needs to know and most children don't know this because it, it's not the case but a child in an ideal sense a boy or a girl needs to know that their parents are morally upstanding that their, that their parents have principles and will stand by their principles. Now, it might be a whole different other video uh, that we could dive into, but when it comes to a man, when it comes to a father, what I got to let y'all know and what y'all are going to find out irregardless is that a man has certain principles and that a man's going to do what a man's going to do and live his life. And I know that's harsh and a lot of people don't want to hear that, but a man has to live his life in a very righteous way, in a very tenacious way, in a day-to-day -day sense in, in which nothing can stop him and his movement. All right. And like I said, a lot of people don't understand this, but you could take from a real man, from a man who, who has uh, an agenda, for a man who has direction in his life and he knows what he's building up to it, it does not matter what you take from him all right because he has a he has a goal in mind and he's going to get there regardless it doesn't matter what you take from him he, he might love his children he might love to see his children every day but if you were to take his children a real man would not stop a real man would not let them uh, let that stop him. And this is something that I had to learn through experience. But I've seen other people. I, I know what a real man is when I look at it. A real man can't be stopped, won't be stopped. All right. Irregardless of what you take from him, you could take his woman from him. Doesn't matter. He's not going to be stopped. Uh, you could take his children from him. Does not matter. He, you could take anything from him. You could take tobacco from him. You could take the sunshine from him. You can take all sort of anything, coffee from him. You can take anything from him, that man won't be stopped. All right? This is what a child needs in a father. All right? He might cry because it does hurt, and I have experienced that. He might cry uh, to himself. Not on the internet, not for everybody to see. That's actually a terrible idea. All right? Because it sets a bad example. It takes away the security that that child should feel coming from their father. And that's, that's no good. Not, not only that, but just go a little bit further to say it's number, I don't know if it's number three or number four. But something that people sincerely do not understand these days is what a child, a child ideally doesn't want to see their father talking bad about their mother ideally period they don't want to see that they don't want to see their mother talking bad about their father either 
They don't want to see this. And this is the reason that traditionally people would leave the room. They don't want the children to hear it. You, if you, you remember people back in the day, they would leave the room. They wouldn't, you wouldn't hear the mother and the father fighting. The reason is because a child does not want to hear something bad about their parents coming from the other parents. That actually is disastrous. Now, Tyrese didn't really go into too much detail about how his ex-wife is bad. And for that, I'll commend him. But some people do. It's why you look at Matthew Reed Davis's, for for example, in the Caitlin Nicole Davis situation, you look at a Matthew Reed Davis and, you, and you're disappointed a little bit. You look at Anthony Lee Rogers and he's a damn monster. But not only that, he wants to blame everybody. All right. That's the thing about it. A child does not never want to see that. They never want to see someone talking bad about their father. They don't want to see someone talking bad about their mother, especially the other parents. They don't want to see this. It's actually very detrimental to them emotionally and spiritually. The reason is because they have a blood bond just to the end of this video. I feel like we're getting down to the nitty gritty. The child has a blood bond with their father and their mother. That's where the child comes from. So if you were to badmouth their father in front of them, that's basically like badmouthing them. If you're to badmouth their mother in front of them, that's like badmouthing them. And they'll feel it in that sense. They'll, they'll take offense to it in that way, even if they don't admit it. It'll go deep down inside of them, and that's a terrible thing. People shouldn't be talking bad about their baby mamas or their baby daddies in front of their children or out in public the way it's being done. That's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea to cry and cry and blubber on about a situation that, Tyrese, I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry that you're going through the situation. It's not rare. You should have seen it coming. Everybody else did see it coming. But however, you had an anger in your heart. And it messed up your uh, vision. Couldn't see reality. It'll happen to any of us. If I get anger in me for any reason, it's going to mess up my vision. Don't trust anything that I say. If you know anybody who's got anger in them at all for any reason, they're not exactly seeing reality. They're making foolish decisions, y'all. Very foolish decisions. Children need stuff out here. They need security. They need morally upstanding parents. They need parents who understand that marriage is a real thing, that their children should be born in wedlock. And even if you do happen to deviate from that, which I have as well, uh, it's important that we learn from our mistakes and we just don't make excuses for them all day because that's not going to bring results. It's December the 15th, 2000. 17 it's been long enough i'll holler at y'all later we're balls deep up in the tribulation but we can all have success and we can all have peace and we can all have contentment and we can all give that to our children if we uh simply choose to do so so i'll holler at y'all later uh holler at me and stuff holler at me in the comments like me uh, put a thumbs up on me a real a, a real big thumbs up on me and i'll holler at y'all